when I was 19 years old, I remember me and a bunch of my girlfriends, we wanted to go to the NFR for the first time together, just us girls. And I remember one night, um, me and my girlfriend Corey, we went out on the town and just explored Las Vegas. And Kaylee, she stayed back at the casino. And mind you, we were only 19 years old. <laughs> it was like probably four or five o'clock in the morning when I got back to the casino. And she was still up and she's like, Tacey, she runs to the door when I get there. She's like, Tacey, come here. I met these like really hot cowboys. And I'm like, okay. I first met Tacey at uh, the, in Las Vegas at the South Point Hotel Casino. Um, I was roping at the World Series of Team Roping. Uh, it was my last night there, I hadn't done no good, and I was uh, just hanging out, talking to some friends, and uh, I seen Tacey walk by er earlier in the night, and I was like, wow, man, look at that girl over there. She just had like bleach blonde hair, and she was dressed in all white, and I just remembered, man, she's, that's a good looking girl. I want to talk to her before the night's over. And uh, I didn't see her. Uh, I thought maybe I missed my chance because I didn't see her again. And then right before I was about ready to go head up to my hotel room, I was sitting at the bar area with my brother-in-law and Tacey's friend, Kaylee, uh, came up to the bar and started talking to me and my brother-in-law. And uh, I didn't know she was with Tacey until I seen Tacey telling her coming over to the bar to talk to us. And so, so we go over and I see Cassidy. And I was like, wow, he's really cute. So um, I could tell he was kind of looking at me and stuff. And so I went over and thought to myself, like, okay, like he's kind of flirting with me and stuff. He just, you know, was putting on all the charm because he's really good at that. And I just remember thinking, oh, he's just so charming and handsome. And he said, well, how about I get your number? So the next time I'm going through Utah, I'll take you on a date. And I was like, okay. So mine and Tacey's first date, um, I had, so I met her in December and we had just been able to exchange a few calls and text messages and I had a place in southeastern Idaho, my family did, and so I called her when I was coming up and I was like, hey, you should come up and uh, uh, eat dinner, we're barbecuing, hanging out, gonna play some cards, you know, just family and stuff. So she drives two hours from Logan up here to uh, Blackfoot, Idaho. And, uh, and one of my best friends, Scott, he, uh, he was here with me and we had driven to the uh, highway to meet her um, because it's kind of a pain from there. Uh, so we meet her at the off ramp and uh, I just talked to her for a second, you know, hey, we just got to go, you know, just a mile or two, you know, up the road, which it was a lot farther than that. But I didn't want her, she already driven so far, I didn't want her to, uh, you know, complain about going too much farther. So anyways, uh, we finally get there and she's like, geez, I thought it was just a few miles. So uh, then we go inside and uh, just eat some dinner with my family and uh, just have a really good time. And I remember that night, it was really funny because I had booked a girl's hair extensions and so I didn't get done until really late. And so I remember feeling so bad, like, oh my gosh, I'm getting there so late, this is so rude. They were eating at like seven and I got there at nine o'clock. But it was so sweet and so cute because he waited for me to eat with him and I thought that was really sweet of him. We had so much fun that night. I laughed so hard. We played poker and I literally just had such a blast. 
So when I left, I actually stayed the night, not with him. He was such a respectful guy. That's actually one of the things that I absolutely love about him is how much he respected me right from the get-go. Uh, the following day, she's, uh, she's going to leave and uh, she pulls down um, our, our dirt driveway, kind of come down here, turn around, and she don't make it but maybe 100 feet and runs out of gas. <laughs> and <laughs> everyone was laughing at her because she was so low on E and never said anything and uh, drove, followed us all the way out here. Uh, she blames it on me because uh, I never, uh, I didn't tell her how far, much farther it was. And I called my best friend, Kelsey Joe on the way home the next day and I said, I want to marry him someday. He is so perfect and so cute and I totally just fell in love with this guy. Um, so after that we just talked a lot more. He was calling me every day and it, so it just kind of began. When me and Cass first started dating, it was always really hard because we would only get to see each other every once in a while. He lived in Arizona and I lived in Logan, Utah. And so he was so sweet. He'd always try to make it so that we'd see each other about every two weeks. And I remember one time, uh, I was the Cache County Rodeo Queen at the time. And so I was really busy. I couldn't leave that weekend because it was the weekend of the Cache County Fair. And so he calls me, asked me what I was doing and stuff. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I have a surprise for you when you're done. So he had actually drove all the way up from Arizona to surprise me. And he literally drove from Queen Creek, Arizona to Logan, Utah. And he could only stay one night because he had to get back to Arizona for work. And I just remember feeling so loved by that. For someone to drive all that way just for one night to spend with me, it really meant the world to me. She's like finally coming home, standing in the rain, staring at the sun. When I first realized or knew I loved Tacey, um, would probably be just shortly after our first date. I kind of um, had that feeling um, that I never have gotten with anyone else on that first date. And uh, after talking to her and, and, and getting to know her better and what she was all about, uh, it, it, it wasn't uh, probably a week after that first date when I realized I was pretty much smitten. So I first knew that I loved Cassidy when he had called me up and said he was going to a roping in Utah. And he said, come pick me up at the Salt Lake City Airport and come with me. So I, I went with him to the roping and we had so much fun. But my favorite part was the drive home. I remember I still had my little Chevy Cavalier red convertible that I was so proud of. It was the first car that I had bought for myself and we had so many fun memories of him and I in that car. And so on the way home from the roping, I remember he was just being so silly. This is kind of funny, but he found a, a period pad. <laughs> I don't even know what else to call it, but. And he stuck it on his forehead and he was like howling like a dog on the way home with this period pad on his forehead and just being so silly and we were jamming out to music and just having so much fun and he was making me laugh so hard. 
and I was like, oh my gosh, he's just so cute. I just love him so much. And there were so many times on that ride home that like I just kept looking at him and thinking to myself like, you are the man I want to be with. Like, I just love your personality and how much fun you are and how we can just totally be ourselves with each other. And so I remember we pulled up at a Walmart and on our way out, he stops me and kind of twirls me around in the parking lot and he's like, there's something I want to tell you. It was just like it almost just slipped out. We were, uh, we had just stopped at Walmart and um, I think it was like a Jordan or somewhere. But anyways, uh, he's like, well, actually, wait, he's like, let's just wait a minute. So then I kind of got nervous. And uh, so then we get in the car and he's like, well, just drive out of the parking lot. I have something I need to tell you. I'm like, OK, so. Uh, we were just driving out and I just kind of looked over at her and I was just like, I love you. And she just kind of looked at me and, and smiled and was like, oh, I love you too. <laughs> so that was the first time I said it. And I like kind of got teary eyed and I was like, well, I wanted to say the same thing. I've been wanting to say that because I do love you. How I proposed to Tacey, um, well, I had been planning it for a while and was trying to figure out the, the perfect proposal because Tacey puts a pretty high standard on those things and uh, always expected the best when she ever did get proposed to. For the longest time, I kind of knew there was something up because my best friend kind of slipped and told me that he had a ring for me. And so then I kind of was expecting it for a while. So um, I knew she loved her horses and I knew she loved camping and, and all those things. So I uh, loaded our horses up one weekend, told her we're going camping and uh, went up to like the White Mountains in Arizona. And uh, we went on a horse ride um, the next, the day after we had gotten there and we uh, she wanted to find a tree. It was her idea to find this tree and carve our uh, initials into. And I thought like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. And he had this cute idea that we had talked about years ago about carving our name in a tree so that someday we could take our future children there to see, you know, like this is when we carved our name in the tree. So we get off our horses. He had picked a tree that he wanted to carve our names then. So we're sitting there carving our initials and uh, and so I had put my, I said, hey, let's take a picture. I'll put my phone on a timer, which I don't even know if you can do that or not. So I set my phone down and I put it on video mode and uh, I, 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 t I walk back to her and she's ready to thinking we're going to take this picture by this tree with our initials in it. So I get ready for a picture. I'm standing there like smiling ready at the camera. Then all of a sudden, he comes over and he gives me like a hug and starts being so romantic. And I was like, okay, yeah, something's about to happen. And I was starting to get kind of nervous. And he was so nervous. And uh, I walked back to her. I, I dropped one knee and I just said, Tacey, I love you. Um, will you marry me? And uh, I was super nervous. Uh, she was super nervous. And she like replied with, are you sure? And I said, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, and, and later on, she's like, I don't know why I said that, but I was just super nervous. But um. And so he pulls out the ring, and he accidentally puts it on my right hand. Well, start to, and I'm like, OK, honey, it goes on this hand. So he was so nervous, and it was so cute. And I kind of had like little tears in my eyes, but I was also giggling, because he always makes me laugh. And so, of course, I had said yes. and. He just said he couldn't wait to spend the rest of his life with me. And then we just had a really fun little weekend camp getaway. So I absolutely love how he proposed. And I can't wait to someday go back and show our kids the tree that he proposed with. And I absolutely love this story. What I love about Cassidy is I love his smile and when he makes me laugh and how he always teases me and jokes around with me. And 
I love his heart. He has the biggest heart of gold I've ever seen in a person. I also love his sexy eyes and the way he looks at me with the, his eyes. And I love his hair. I've always loved guys that have the long, dark, shaggy hair. Just everything about his look is like the sexiest man in the world to me. And if I could have made up the perfect guy in the whole wide world, it would have been Cassidy. What I love about Tacey is, there's a lot of things, but I, I love her smile for one. I love her beautiful blue eyes and that blonde hair. It's, it's what I've always, the first thing that stood out to me about Tacey. Um, I love her personality. She's always been so pure to me and, uh, and, and just uh, an innocent, um, she probably doesn't think so, but an innocent uh, girl that I, I just kind of helped fall in love with. She's, she's, uh, she cares more about other people than herself. She, she's, uh, she cares, she, the way she makes me feel is, is unbelievable and it's second to none. I love that he is so good with my animals and he knows how much they mean to me and he loves the horses just as much as I do. And it's kind of funny because we have little baby Bitsy Boo and she's tiny. She's only like 25 inches. And he is so cute with her and he treats her so cute and so good. And we'll just be like, woo, Bitsy Boo, together. <laughs> and we just yell at her and play together. And so I love that he does that with me. And then the way that he takes care of Diva and my baby Charmer and how he was there for me. Um, when Charmer was first born and he's always there to comfort me when I need him to be and to love me the way that I need to be loved. Um, I, I love that um, Tacey has a, an, an ambitious and adventurous spirit. She, uh, she's, I'm kind of more uh, laid back and an old fuddy-duddy or whatever, but she uh, she's always wanting to go do fun things, and, and every time I, 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 I take a chance and go with her to go do one of her fun, crazy things, like uh, one time we just rented some jet skis and just went out to the lake all day together, and uh, just little things like that what, that we go and do is, is always, uh, you don't realize it until afterwards how much fun it really is to be with her and, and do fun things like that. I love that we both love horses and the western lifestyle. I love that he's a team roper and that we can rope together and have fun and that we want to raise our families um, in that lifestyle. One of the things I really love about him is how I mentioned before, he is so respectful and so respectful of me and that means the world to me. And I know he'll be an amazing father another thing that I am crazy about him for because he's so good with kids he's so fun with his nieces and nephews and and I don't know I love that he's also crazy he's so crazy and so wild in so many ways and sometimes it just drives me crazy but I wouldn't change a thing about him I love exactly who and who he is and how he is in every way possible Tacey, I just want to tell you that I love you and I'm super excited for you to be my future Mrs. Howe and I'm so excited to spend the rest of our lives together and to make babies and to have little Cassidy and Tacey Juniors and I'm excited for us to start a family together and have our happily ever after. I love you. I just want to tell you that I am so excited to marry you and to finally be your wife. I've wanted to marry you since the first time I met you up at the ranch and through everything we've been through, you are the man that I want to be with no matter what. And just like that song of ours, how you wouldn't want to be with anybody if it wasn't with you. And that's how I feel about you. I only want to be with you and I love you more than anything in this world. And I can't wait to be your wife and to start a family with you. And I can't wait to be there for you and to support you and to love you and try to give you everything I can in this world. And I know you're going to do the same for me. And that's why I can't wait to be your wife. So I love you. I don't want no one else. And if
you